Hey, this is Bombhap. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. This is going to be episode 9 of our Divinity Original Sin series. On the last episode, we fought Shirath here uh, three times, and she walloped us all three times. So we're just going to try and end this conversation cordially and see where it goes from there. So we had Scarlet say, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're lucky we're such nice source hunters. But you know what? Roderick, being the cleric that he is, he still, he still needs to put her down. So... We're now back to Scarlet. She says, This woman is under my protection. To harm her is to be harmed, understood? Or, You slay a young beauty like her? Surely you wouldn't. Or, The wares she sells are rare. Can we really afford to lose a traitor like her? Fine, have it your way. Hmm. Scarlet is just going to have to intimidate um, poor Roderick. I think that's the only way. So, Scarlet, this wound is under my protection. To harm her is to be harmed, understood? And then Roderick says, She dies, you hear? Or do I need to brand you a traitor? Uh, you don't want me to lose respect for you, do you? We have to do this. Or, one death may stop many deaths down the line, and you know it. So Roderick's going to try reason. The one death may stop many. Alright. Scarlet likes rock. And I think she's going to have to continue to rock it out. Uh-oh. How about more rock? Okay. Oh boy, this is going to be close. Uh-oh. Oh, it all comes down to this. Oh boy. Huh. Roderick loves that paper. He hasn't done rock so far. <laughs> Alright. Gods have mercy. You're a source hunter, but I never really dabbled in sorcery. No, stand back. I'll defend myself. Bye! Oh boy. Oh, this sucks. Well, I guess you're gonna watch me lose to Sherith one more time. In which case... Right, we're gonna kill this body because he seems to be full of magic powers. the trip first. Oh, he's got so many... Okay, I barely do any damage. Citizens are coming in. Oh, oh that hurts. Nice, okay. Alright, Scarlet. You will continue on the bodyguard. Actually, dust that one. Spell. Yes. Yeah, oh, I don't have enough. Can you go up to ten? 
We're just gonna have you wait it out. See if you can. Oh, Scarlet. No, boy. Wait, is that teleport? No, it's resurrect. Oh, and then he'll be teleported to over here. Okay, good. And it's going to be it. All right, Jared, you heal up Scarlet. Bolt. Uh oh. Fudge. Roderick, here up. John. And. Take your way towards the bottom. You're gonna save up and resurrect the Lady Scarlet. Do you have any health potions? Okay. Yep. Oh, the potion, I forgot about that. This looks like it is a losing battle as well. And... Yep. All right. All right, we need Scarlet to win this rock, paper, scissors this time. Merciful Scarlet. Roderick is still, I mean, he doesn't like sorcerers. Bye! Oh no! Jazz. We've already lost 40 minutes trying to kill her. On normal, that is. I wonder. <laughs> yeah. 
No, nope, we're going easy. Easy sauce. Scarlet is merciful. Roderick, not so merciful. Scarlet tries to intimidate Roderick. Roderick tries to reason. Okay. We got rocky old Scarlet here. Not looking so slow for her. She's got that harder rock. Luckily, it does beat scissors. Rocky Scarlet. Ooh. Here it comes. Here it comes. Is he gonna? Is he gonna? Oh, sick bird! All right, Roderick. This is easy. Hopefully this doesn't end as poorly as it has been. Oh, it still hurts. Oh boy. I'm gonna work on this bodyguard. Citizens coming in. Oh, he gets up and. Oh, nice. Okay. Much easier. off this turn? I certainly hope so. Not when he blocks. <sighs> oh, good. So you can teleport him. Attack field spearsy weirsy. Okay. All it took was easy mode. That's it. Perfect. All right. So, Roderick, can we heal him up. And 
Let's loot all these books. By the final teeth of Sumasura, oh, the end is nigh. Death comes a creeping for you, Victoria. Found a skill book. Read it to learn its contents. Ah, oh, snoozing heals peeps up. Nice. All the hail of his hot steel. And there you go. Yeah, nice and sleepy. Okay. Now let's take a look at what we picked up. Got a bunch of books. Secrets of the Scroll, Volume 2. Dust to dust. Pixie dust is to enchant him as kingdom is to fire. One is the basis for the other. But never fear. You need to go pixie hunting and pixie crushing unless you've scads of spare time and an iron stomach. No, first we must begin with stardust. Fortunately, you needn't carve and crush a chunk of a constellation, unless again you've got time and stomach. The stardust herb is relatively common and simple to crush into a fine powder. Combined with a bone dust, you're Soon very powerful pixie really dust indeed. But let's like not the leave the oft-forgotten moon dust out of the equation. I won't bore you with the details, but suffice to say, a simple moonstone gem will suffice to fully chunk, fully as a chunk of moon itself. Combine crushed moonstone with stardust to create a fine pixie dust. And secrets of the scroll. Okay. Rivalin's powers are many, and even without the intervention of we enchanters, her magic shrines, though through even the most common objects sprinkled with a bit of pixie dust, these objects' natural powers are quite enchanting. A rabbit's paw, for instance, might only be of use to the more superstitious, but given a fine coating of pixie dust, the paw's magical properties spring to life. All held on a thread, rope, or ring, the magical paw will bring great power to its wearer, great luck to its wearer. But the rabbit's paw is only the tip of the magical iceberg. And these are actual skill books. This is for witchcraft, witchcraft, witchcraft. Fun with fluids, volume two. Never, the hunter's quest for King Never tried right. consuming the Gin Pinya mushroom. You know full well the manner and the effect it will have. Most Rivalin mushrooms have some sort of effect on the human body, and their essence can be squeezed into potions to enhance their effects. Combining mushroom-based potions has smaller effects. Okay, so... By the final teeth of Suluma, Soul Shredder, the end is nigh. Death comes a-creeping for you, Victoria! I haven't quite figured out the crafting system yet, but... We might work on that here in relatively short order. Uh, we're going to send these skill books to Roderick. Soon the last will be beaten, beaten and he's going like to sell the them. Anvil of Grog, the uh, you I can open. All hail his hot steel. We're also going to send Roderick all of the books. He'll be our bookkeeper. Roderick, Roderick, Roderick. The hunters go as walking in the night. By the needles of the million breeder, they'll end it all. End it all in blood. And 
and Roderick. Do we read this one? Oh, yeah. Okay. Soon the last will be beaten, beaten like the anvil of Grog the Torture. All hail Grog. All hail his hot steel. Actually, I'll take those out. Those are cell books. That nightmare is over. Let's go ahead and talk to Eaglander here. How close are we to leveling up? They have to be close. Back again. Ah, you've come. Yes, that is most satisfactory. Be gone, O oh brittle mask of age. Hear me now and repeat the words of Brittletooth, the child snatcher of Carador. Come play with me, for I am hungry. Come play, play, play. Tell me about this assistance you grasp. The game, yes. A game of blood and brutality, of dex death and dexterity, fun as faring and horror Harlequin. But the serpentine stalker hisses before the stab. Hush now, darkness darling, hush. Hush and listen to my tale. The elves of Gandavum. They lived in peace, oh yes, but one night, when the moon had hid her face, the orcs of the tribe of Kalsdugar beset our city. They cooked and ate and burned every last one of us. The light of dawn never saw an elf of Gandvum no more. All undone, every last one of us, except for me, the midnight rambler, away from the city. I was very old back then already, though indeed I whisper of many years hence. But death shall not find me. Oh no, not until every beast of Kal's Dugar have been bled. I may be frail, a withered gray, but the wealth of kings is mine. Countless assassins have ministered to the vengeance that is my want, and now it is almost over. By Kala, lady of the last gaze, I swear it is almost done. Only the very last one of Kal's Dugar still eludes me. The crowning kill that will seal its fate and mine alike. I have tracked her down by the curse of Spine Spear I have. She, oh, she does not know her ill-shapen sun is setting fast. Color the dusk red, O oh sword of youth. Bloody the day when the bramble sap that runs through the veins of Victoria. Bring me the amulet that clinges to her flesh, soon to fade. And yours shall be the bounty of vindication. Mine shall be its sanguine satisfaction. After all, after long, long last. So my target would be Victoria, an orc girl. Yes, Victoria. She is one whose heart must be held in hand, the heart around which the fingers of that hand must clench and tighten until its choking flesh bulges with blood and it beat, its beat slowly breaks. The orcs of Kalsdugar, they knew my name. Oh yes, by the bite of the roving rattler, they knew my design. And so they sought to save their last, an infant, she who was to be queen, to no avail, oh no, years, how I meant years, how many I know not, years I searched, and now she's been found. Her name is that of a woman, her employment that of a civilized being, but by the fork of Barbara Maneater, she is nothing but an orc, a cyst of nature, one of a misbegotten litter dragged into life from the tumored womb of a filthy, coarse-haired beast that was humped like a dog in the darkness of a stinking hollow. Victoria, librarian, daughter, ha! Adopted child of Cecil, mayor of Cycile. There is bloodlust in you. I can feel it. Let it out. Set it free. Undo the last of the Kals du Kahar and the breasts of Sindra, goat sucker. Give me my revenge. And tell me a little about yourself. My name is Eaglander Talhulis Snyar. 
An elf of the House of Gundavum, the slaughtered house of Gandavum, by but by the twin blades of Shadow Vixen, I shall have my revenge. The walls of memory are stained with blood, and I would see them bloodier still. Bye! Alright. Okay, so what are these quests? That was quite the radical change we witnessed. I never would have thought that the benign old man we we met outside would turn out to be a vengeance-driven aficionado of assassins. Uh, Scarlet can say. He is as much a savage as those orcs, and how Victoria is guilty of her tribe's crime as if she, And how was Victoria guilty of her tribe's crime if she was but a babe at the time? Uh, he has been driven to madness by grief, I think, but I understand his urge to see every last one of the orc tribe dead. Yep. You agree. You're on vengeance yourself. Uh, Roderick, as do I. His life's quest is bloody, but justified. Perhaps. But let's just say I understand him no longer. His madness is now focused on the demise of an innocent, be she an orc or not. Hmm. How would Roderick feel about this? Being a cleric, he kind of likes... He hates demons. The orcs are pretty close to demons. But, I don't know, he kind of likes innocence, like innocent peeps. He likes Victoria, like she was, she seemed rather civilized. And that, I bet you this has something to do with all those orc attacks. So, hmm. He is going to agree. No, he's going to protect the, uh, he's going to protect the innocent. We'll rock, paper, scissors this out. Okay, so what are we doing here? What did that do? Did we get a kill, Victoria? Yes, Back please. again! Here I wait for thee in dark, but the stab, the stab shall bring the light. Minister to death, that is what I want of thee. Bye! Okay, well, hmm. Should we kill her? I just don't know yet. By the final teeth of Suluma Soul Shredder, the end is nigh. Mm. Death comes a creeping for you, Victoria. We'll have you go down the stairs. What to do, what to do. Oh, my good man. A drink, if you please. Please, do it. Here. Mm. That's a tough call. I'm kind of teetering both ways. Heavenly Is Victoria didn't do anything wrong? Just no one has as many drinks as many cheesy. One of the group that murdered his, his peeps. Spiritless. Perhaps wrestling an earth elemental will inject some vim into your own team. Alright. Well, what's up here? Let's go up here. Let us say if you Let's can see. choose the finest way to round out this cheese. way for the next episode. So, uh, by then, we'll, we're gonna we're gonna sit on the old uh, elf elf quest there. Um, we're yet undecided as to what we're gonna do. So, well, we'll think about that, and we will see you next time where we round out the uh, the edge of Sicile here and see what other adventures await us. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye -bye.